Okay, okay, let's uh, let's start off uh, just saying that I do not I do not believe in angels. Not at all, okay? I do not believe in angels. That is not my thing. I ch I'm just a follower of uh, Jesus Christ, okay? I believe in his word. I believe in his message. I believe in the Bible, okay? Old Testament, New Testament. I believe in the word of God. I do not believe in angels. I have never believed in angels. And I, I have sort of a thing against people who follow uh, angels and things of that nature, okay? I do not believe in angels. On the morning of uh, February the 26th, a few days ago, maybe four or five days ago, I was asleep and a figure, a figure, a human figure show up to me. It was a vision. I was not, I was not dreaming. It was a vision, but I was asleep, okay? A human figure show up to me, pop out in the middle of my, 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 my sleep. In a, not in a vertical way, in a horizontal way, okay? And it was coming up to me and all of a sudden that figure was talking to me, okay? Uh, his demeanor was very nice. It's not that he was smiling. He was not smiling. He was a man, okay? He was not smiling, but uh, he was, he had a pretty good demeanor, okay, towards me. It was like he was up to to good good things towards me, okay? So, uh, all of a sudden, a number show up on the air, in the air, okay? Saturday, 2.30. Saturday, 2.30. So, then he was kind of talking to me, okay? So, when he lay back, lay back, sort of he sat down, okay? I, I, I'm not sure, I don't remember, okay? Because he was not standing up like me. He sort of uh, uh, lay back towards, uh, against the wall, okay? And he was talking to me. So... I asked him his name. What's your name? And he said, my name is Cedric. Okay, okay, before I asked him his name, he made it very clear that he was an angel. Okay, and he didn't open his mouth. Like when he answered to me regarding his name, he opened his mouth, he talked to me. I don't remember if, it, if he talked to me in Spanish or in English or Ar Aramaic or Arabic. I don't remember, okay? I do not remember. I do not remember if the letters that I saw in the air were written in Spanish, Sábado, okay, or in English, Saturday. I do not remember, okay? So, uh, I asked him his name and he said, my name is Cedric. He never said, I'm here to take care of you. He never said, I'm here to keep an eye on you. He never said, uh, I'm here to uh, because I've been sent by God. He never mentioned anything of that nature, okay? He never said that, okay? Uh, the one who asked him his name was me. I was the one who prompted the question. I was the one who initiated the conversation. He wanted to talk to me, but I was the one who uh, asked the first question, okay? So, he answered his name. Then he said, tell your mom she hasn't stolen anything. I'm gonna say that again. Tell your mom that she hasn't stolen anything. Okay, and then she showed me a bill, a one dollar bill and coins. And I remember because I, I, I'm, I'm a salesman, okay? I did my math. The one dollar bill and the coins didn't make three dollars, okay? Just so you know, didn't make three dollars. And then he mentioned a pawn shop, a pawn shop, pawn shop. I mean, my mom, they, they are, they belong to an upper class family. They don't need any money, okay? I don't need any money. I, I'm, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Two blocks away from the beach, I, I'm good, I'm good. I've got a job, my wife got a job. We're good, okay? We don't need any money. Well, we all, we all need money, of course, but it, we're not in need. That's what I mean. So he mentioned a poncho, poncho, poncho. I mean, that's uh, in Spanish, that's casa de empeño. That means that you're you're in bankrupt, okay? You really are going through a very, very tough situation, okay? And my mom is not going to a, a, a difficult situation right now. Not me. 
So he mentioned that. And then I asked the second question. Since when do you know me? Because I, 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 I wanted to know. I'm a salesman. I, I want to know where uh, the client is coming from, okay? If the client has visited different stores prior to coming to my store, okay? So I ask him that. That's in my nature, my DNA okay, as a salesman, okay? So I ask him, since where, since when do you know me? And his answer was, I, I, I was a Pole, okay? I was flabbergasted when he gave me his answer. He said, I was, when humanity was created, I was here when humanity was created. And I said, wow, <laughs> that's a good answer. I was here when humanity was created. He looked like 31, 32, 33, no more than that, 29 maybe, 28. He was no, no older than that, okay? And then I said, I'm gonna ask him another question. All of a sudden, a friend of mine from my childhood Ricardo Forsyth, Dickie Forsyth, came up to him and hugged him, hugged him. And it was a very friendly hug, okay? It's like they were friends. It's, it was like a, like Cedric, my angel, I believe he is my angel, okay? Uh, uh, it was his angel as well, okay? It's like Dickie and myself, we share the same, the very same angel. And just so you know, I do not believe in angels. I do not believe in angels, period. I do not believe in angels. That's not my thing. So they hug each other, and, 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 and I remember that Dicky felt, he felt very, very relieved, like he needed that hug, that like he needed somebody to tell him, hey, I'm with you, nothing is going to happen, everything is going to be all right, okay? I, I wish I could talk to Dicky right now, call him up on the phone or just write him an email. We haven't, we haven't been in touch for a long time, maybe 20, 20 25 years, okay? So uh, we grew up in the very same neighborhood, so in South America. So, uh, and then I prompted the, the third question because I wanted to know, I'm a believer, I'm a believer. So I asked him, do you know God? And then I asked, have you seen God? And then he just looked at me, he didn't smile, okay? He didn't know, okay? He just looked at me. And the vision was gone. And I woke up. I woke up. And I woke up. Angels. I know. They're mentioned in the Bible. I know. When Mary was uh, conceived uh, uh, Jesus through the Holy Spirit, there was Angel Gabriel. Uh, when Zachariah uh, was told that he was, uh, was going to have a son, John in this case, John the Baptist, there was an angel. There are angels in the Old Testament. I just don't believe in angels. It's not my thing. I do not believe in angels. However, he's supposed to be my angel. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. So how how did he look like? Okay. He was a he was a Caucasian guy. Okay. Uh, he was not like Swedish or Finnish or uh, Norwegian or German or English. He was sort of a, a let's say, a, a Caucasian from Northern Italy, okay, from South of France. He had a, a, a blonde hair. It was kind of curly, okay. It was not a clean cut hair uh, haircut. It was a kind of a, a, a bubbly, a little bit a, a, a bubbly. He was kind of a chubby guy. He was medium, medium, uh, medium medium size okay but uh, his face was kind of was kind of a uh, chubby okay he had a, a, a dark uh, beard but not beard but uh, just like he had a shave in two or three days maybe four days okay his eyes were blue that I remember that I remember the the, 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 the thing that would stand out out of his uh, 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 body was his eyes okay and his hair the root, the root of his hair were not uh, precisely blonde, were kind of uh, brownish, okay? Uh, what else? The way he was dressed, that, that, this is weird, okay? He was wearing a sweater. He was wearing a sweater. And his sweater was out of a thousand of colors, okay? The sweater was out of 
a thousand of vertical colors, okay? But there was something very special about his sweater. The overall color that would stand out was peach. Peach color. Something that I would never, ever, 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 ever wear, okay? Then he was he was wearing a, a, a pair of jeans, okay? They were not like a Levi's jeans, blue, okay? It was like a, a, a sky blue jean from the 80s. I mean, terrible taste, okay? And then he was wearing sort of a sneakers, shoes, but the ones who's got the, the soil, the white soil, okay? I mean, I would never wear those uh, uh, sneakers, okay? Neither the ones that you take to when you go to the beach, okay? Not the ones that you you wear when you play uh, tennis or or, or, or or squash or, or whatever, okay? Those those fan, uh, fancy, okay, uh, 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 sneakers. That's the way he was dressed, okay? And then what else about him? Uh, I never saw, I saw his, his arms, but I never saw his hands like showing like this. What would stand out of his uh, uh, figure, uh, he, he had uh, broad shoulders, okay, I, I remember that. Uh, I already mentioned that he was kind of a chubby guy, chubby guy. But, uh, but mostly his face was chubby. Not, he had a, a, a medium, medium sized body, okay, but his face was kind of chubby, okay, but what, what, what got my attention was uh, his demeanor. He was a very gentle person, a very nice person. As I said, he never mentioned, I'm here to help you, I'm here to take care of you. He never mentioned that. He never said, I've been sent by God, what I was expecting at least. Uh, I think he mentioned uh, the money. No, he showed me the money. He never mentioned the money. He mentioned the, the, the pawn shop, the pawn shop, the pawn shop, okay? And, and the message to my mom. Tell your mom that she hasn't stolen anything, okay? And that was, that's weird, that happened to me on February the 26th, uh, early in the morning, like 3 a.m., 3.15, 3, 3.20 uh, of February to 2020. My name is Miguel, South Beach, Florida. There we go. Bye-bye. God bless you, okay? Bye-bye.